Hey guys, how you doing? Doing well here, thank you for asking. This is part two of a get to know Mikey Sun video series. It'll probably be a, a four part uh, series. So, uh, the, the thing is, is I, I'm online, I, I pulled up a Google page that has a list of questions that you might ask someone just to get to know them a little bit better. And that's kind of what I'm doing. Uh, just kind of a way for you to get to know me and maybe get to know myself a little bit. So this video is going to concentrate on questions 26 through 50. I do have the page pulled up, so I am going to be looking at the camera and over at the questions. So that's part of it. So here we go. I haven't even looked at them. I just pulled it up. Here we go. Have you ever had a nickname and what is it? Uh, my nickname has been Pickle, Mr. Blue Jeans, I think, or Green Jeans, I don't remember. Uh, mostly Pickle, probably. Um, and that's funny because I love pickles. Um, Mikey Sun, that's been kind of a nickname I've given myself, which is my channel name. Um, I started the Mikey Sun name back, like, early 2000s. Uh, whenever I really started getting online and uh, like video game chat rooms and um, playing online and stuff like that, I started with Mikey Sun. Uh, if any of you out there started with the original Xbox, uh, I was Mikey Sun on there. So you might know me from there. Or playing Medal of Honor Allied Assault Spearhead on the computer, uh, Trust Company Mikey Sun. I went by that. So. Anywho, that's pretty much my nickname. Do you like or dislike surprises? Why or why not? Yeah, I like surprises. I also like being surprised by things that I ask for that I'm getting. So, uh, I like surprises uh, as long as they're good surprises. <laughs> yeah, I guess you could say that. In the evening, would you rather play a game, visit a relative, watch a movie, or read? Uh, well, I am a video gamer. Uh, not as much now as I was. Uh, visit a relative? Eh. Read? Eh, eh. Watch a movie? Probably. So it'd probably it'd be between play a game and uh, watch a movie. Would you rather vacation in Hawaii or Alaska and why? Ooh. Hmm. Well, that's a tough one. Because Alaska is beautiful. Uh, hmm. Probably Hawaii, I reckon. Why? It's like an exotic kind of tropical getaway kind of thing. Beaches, sand, mountains, volcanoes, whatever. Uh... If I could travel around and uh, see the places where the TV show Lost was filmed, uh, that's my favorite TV series of all time. So, yeah, that'd be cool. Uh, would you rather win the lottery or work at the perfect job and why? Uh, what? Win the lottery? I've worked enough and there is no perfect job. No matter if it's something you love or not, nothing's ever perfect. Win the lottery. Use the money wisely. Who would you want to be stranded on a desert island? Hmm. Who would I want to be stranded on a desert island with? Hmm. I don't know. Uh. My wife, kids, uh, daughter-in-law, grandkids. I don't know. A prime holly berry. I don't know. If money was no object, what would you do all day? Uh, what would I do all day? Well, I'd be traveling different bike parks, mountain area, stuff like that to to do some real mountain biking. And, uh, yeah, I'd travel a little bit. Not necessarily overseas because I don't, I don't know if I trust a lot of that. A lot of people over there want to kill us. A lot of people here want to kill us too, so... 
uh, probably go to a lot of bike parks and eat a lot of seafood and a lot of a lot of stuff like that. If you could go back in time, what year would you travel to? Lord, that's an easy one right there. I'd go back to 1980 and I would live the 80s all over again. Woo! Best decade in history. Bar none. I don't even got to ask questions. Not debatable. Not going to argue. 80s. Uh, how would your friends describe you? Probably as crazy, goofy, funny, uh, maybe strong, big, um, competitive. Something like that. What are your hobbies? My hobbies are cycling, on-road and off-road. Uh, I want to say my hobbies are uh, photography and drawing and video games, even though I don't do them uh, that often. Uh, there's still hobbies that I love, and that's what my YouTube channel really revolves around, is stuff I love to do. Um, uh, those are probably my main hobbies. I don't work out anymore because of my shoulders, so... But working out's a passion. I love it, and I wish I could work out again. But my shoulders are so screwed up. Um, yeah. What is the best gift you have been given? Hmm. I don't know. I've been given a lot of gifts over the years from my mom and grandma, and uh, even my wife. My kids have given me some good stuff. Uh, this past Christmas, I did get my wife got me the PS1 Classic. And she got me the uh, SNES Classic. Uh, and uh, those are pretty good. That was a good Christmas. Pretty good gifts. And don't be dissing the PS1 Classic. Just because it comes with some crap games. Because you can mod it with ease. Very easy. Um, what is the worst gift you have received? Oh, that's going to be... Just some weird knickknack or something that you don't want or need, or you know, something like that. That you're like, oh, thanks, man, that's great, appreciate it. And you're like, eh, whatever. I, it's hard. It's hard to put a name on it. I can't really, can't really say. But just maybe some kind of little knickknack or some weird something. I don't know. Uh, aside from the necessities, what one thing could you not go all day without? Uh, what, aside from the necessities, I sure love the internet, uh, so when my internet goes down, I, I get a little crazy, because I'm online all day, as you know, I'm a bus driver, I have a lot of free time, so I'm online all the time, I'm always watching YouTube, and I'm always on Facebook, I have two screens, so I have multiple things going all the time, internet's my thing, list two pet peeves, uh, pet peeves would be, uh, unfaithfulness uh, in a relationship, and, um, rudeness. Uh, where do you see yourself in five years? Well, I see myself here in this house, as long as I'm alive, as long as my wife's alive. But, you know, every day is uh, really a gift, so we never know these things. If we're all still alive and kicking and going good, I see myself still here. I hope I'm still riding bikes, and I hope I'm still kind of enjoying my life a little bit, as I, I try to do. Um, you know... Hopefully that's what's going on. How many pairs of shoes do you own? Well, I probably have one, two, three, four, probably about four pair of shoes, but I only wear really one or two pair of them. Uh, and I have a pair of house shoes. I don't guess they count. I don't know. Uh, if you were a superhero... What powers would you have? Boy, that's the question, isn't it? The Hulk, he can pretty much do it all. You know, he's pretty much indestructible. 
uh, can't really fly, but he jumps so far that it's like flying. Super strong, really can't hardly, really can't beat the Hulk. Invisibility is cool because you could do naughty stuff. Uh, probably the Hulk. Uh, what would you do if you won the lottery? Very, very simple. Pay my house off. Pay my second mortgage off. Uh, pay any medical bills that my wife and I have. Uh, and if I won the lottery, um, put you know, have money in the bank. Maybe buy me a new road bike that I'm wanting. Something like that, just for myself. You know, my wife had to would have her little other plans and stuff too. So. What form of public transportation do you prefer? Air, boat, train, bus, car, etc. Public transportation? I guess uh, driving myself or depending on someone else to drive me. I don't know how to take that. Uh, but I'll take it as just my own personal thing. I guess. Uh, I prefer the car if I'm driving because that way I'm in, I'm in control the whole time. So... What's your favorite zoo animal? Hmm. Well, the older I get, the more I don't like zoos because I don't really agree with keeping animals uh, caged up and all that for our entertainment. If it's some kind of rehab facility type of uh, place, that's different. But uh, Oh, I'd probably say it's something like an elephant. Uh, probably elephant, I guess. It's a safe answer. That'd be my wife's answer, too. If you could go back in time to change one thing, what would it be? Well, that might be kind of personal, so I don't want to go there to that degree. So, uh, we'll just say that I would go back in time to when my kids were small and I would have a little bit more patience and love them even more and, uh, and just treat them a little differently than I did. Uh, I, I believe that I was a good father, but there was moments whenever I could be, uh, kind of mean, I guess, you know. Sometimes in my good humor, and it comes across as mean. Stuff like that, I guess. But there's maybe one or two other things that are, would be very... It, it's kind of... I'll keep that to myself. Um, if you could share a meal with any four individuals, living or dead, who would they be? My mom, my grandma... Maybe my dad didn't have a dad, but I would just like to ask him questions, I guess. I never really had talks with him or anything. Uh, fourth person, uh, well, that's a tough one. I don't know. Michael Jackson. How many pillows do you sleep with? One. What's the longest you've gone without sleep and why? Probably about 48 hours and from video games. What's the tallest building you've been to the top in? Uh... Well, we were in a, a tall building in Nashville. I don't remember what building it was, and I don't remember what floor. And then we were on, on top of the Rio. Was it the Rio? Yeah, we were on top of the Rio in Las Vegas. Uh, I don't guess that's, I mean, 
Those aren't super tall buildings, but they're pretty tall. Uh, I, so I really don't know the exact height of the buildings or anything. Those are probably the tallest buildings I've been in. And that's it. That's questions 26 through 50. This is part 2. Like I said, there'll probably be two more parts. So, guys, I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you're learning a little bit something about me. I hope that I learned a little something about you. Leave some stuff in the comments if you'd like. Uh, asking me questions. Uh, leaving your uh, answers to some of these questions. Um, I'm all for it. That sounds good to me. Don't forget, like, share, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff. I do all this for free because I enjoy it. No monetization, no ads. So guys, I'm out of here. Don't forget to get up, get out, get rad, do it to it. And have a good time doing it. We'll see y'all later.